everyone, I'm Sarah, and welcome, or welcome back, to my crochet channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this adorable and cute drawstring Earth Day bag with these adorable pom-poms. It's mostly stitched up in double crochet stitches with a few of these spikes or long double crochet stitches thrown in. We've included a couple of pom-poms with lots of Earth Day colors. And what we wanted to do with this bag was use colors that reminded us of our Earth, the North and the South Poles, and then the blue of the ocean and the green of the land. And we also did that on our pom-poms. And I'll show you how to make these pom-poms at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. This bag measures approximately 10 inches tall and is about 14 inches around. It's very stretchy and will hold lots of fun things. You can use this as a bag or a purse. Maybe use it for a little shopping. I know it'll fit some yarn inside, so maybe it makes a great project bag. I also think it makes a great size bag for your lunch to take to the office or to school. So it has lots of possibilities for its uses and it's super fun to stitch up. Now you can find this free crochet pattern on my blog and as always I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. To make our Earth Day bag, you're going to need three different colors. And I'm using acrylic yarn, medium weight, number four. And you can use a cotton, a cotton blend, alpaca, whatever you want to use for your bag. It just needs to be medium weight, number four, yarn. I'm using a white, a bright blue, and a bright green to represent the colors of our earth. You're going to need about two ounces of three colors. Again, white, blue, and green to represent the colors of our earth. You're going to need a eye hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle just to weave those ends in. And you'll also need your scissors. And make sure they're a pair of scissors that can trim your pom-poms that we're going to make for our bag. We're starting at the bottom of our bag and working up. So we're going to begin with our white yarn. We're going to start with our slip knot and then we're going to chain five. We're going to join this chain five into a circle. So we'll put the tail of yarn over our hook and pull it through that loop. We'll snug it down and then we'll tie that stay knot so our chain five doesn't come undone. If you prefer to use the magic circle here, you certainly can. We're going to go in, pull up a loop, and chain three. Now we're going to stitch nine double crochets in this chain five. And you'll also notice I'm going to stitch over my tail of yarn. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through the first two loops. Yarn over and go through the second two loops. So my chain three counted as one, and then I stitched another one. So I need to stitch eight more double crochets. So I have a total of 10 double crochets there we go for row one. All right, let's see how many I've stitched. Our chain three counts is our first, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
9 and 10. Let's count again just to make sure. Chain 3 counts as 1, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to join to that chain 3 with a slip stitch and chain 3. Now, before we go any farther, we're going to turn this over and gently pull on that yarn that is our tail that we stitched over. We're going to go ahead and grab our needle and weave this in. Now, you don't have to weave this in right now if you don't want to. I just like to go ahead and get it done. Then I don't have to worry about it later. All right, so I'm going to gently pull on that and then weave back and forth in those stitches because I don't want anything to fall out of my bag. All right, clip that off. And so for row one, we have 10 double crochets joined with the slip stitch to our chain three and chained three. For row two, we're going to place two double crochets in each of our double crochets around. Our chain three counts as our first, so we'll stitch another double crochet in that same stitch as our chain three. Now we'll go to the next stitch and stitch two double crochets. And we'll stitch two double crochets in each of those double crochets around. We'll join back to our chain three. I stitched two double crochets in each of those 10, so I have 20 double crochets. I'm going to join to the chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. Now for row three, we're going to be doing what I call one and two. One double crochet in the first and two in the next. And of course, our chain three counted as our first double crochet. So one double crochet in the first, two in the next. One double crochet in the next, and two double crochets in the next. So it's one and two. And we'll repeat this working all the way around our row. One double crochet in the next, two double crochets in the next. One and two. And again, we're going to repeat this all the way around and join back to our chain three. I completed row three, stitching one double crochet in the next and two in the next, one and two all the way around, and you'll have 30 double crochets. We're going to join to the chain three and chain three. And what we're going to do for row four is we're going to do two and two. One double crochet in the next two, and then two in the next. Our chain three counts as our first, so we'll stitch one double crochet in the next stitch, and then we'll stitch two double crochets in the next. One and two, all right? And so for row four, we're stitching one double crochet in the next two, and two double crochets in the next. And we'll repeat this, working all the way around, and we'll join back to our chain three. One double crochet in the next two, and two in the next, all the way around. I have completed row four, stitching one double crochet in the next two, and two in the next, all the way around, and then I joined to my chain three, but I'm not going to chain three. I'm going to cut my white yarn off, and I'm going to bring in my blue yarn. So 
So I joined in my blue yarn, that tail out of the way there, and now I'm going to make my chain three. We don't want to do the chain three before we change colors, or we'll have one stitch in the white yarn. And what we're going to do for row five is we're just going to stitch one double crochet in each of the double crochets around. No more increasing. One double crochet in each of the double crochets all the way around. And then we'll join back to our chain three. I stitched one double crochet in each stitch around. I joined to my chain three and I'm going to chain three. And for row six, we're just going to repeat what we did on row five. One double crochet in each of the double crochets around. One double crochet in each double crochet all the way around and we'll join back to our chain three. I stitched one double crochet in each of the double crochets around and I joined to my chain three, but I'm not going to chain three. I'm going to bring in my bright green. I'm going to leave my blue yarn attached because we'll be moving back and forth every two rows between the blue and the green color. If you're more comfortable cutting your yarn, you can, but I like to trail it up on the inside of my bag. All right, so my chain three counts as my first double crochet. I'm going to double crochet in the next two stitches. The next stitch, I'm going to do what's called a long double crochet or a spike stitch. We're going to put our yarn over our hook and instead of stitching our stitch up here in the top, we're going to go down here in the bottom of our stitch and stitch our double crochet and you need to, to double crochet it just a little bit loose when you're moving up. All right, now I'm going to stitch one double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Now I'm going to stitch another one of those long stitches in this next stitch. So I've got my yarn wrapped around. I'm going to go in, pull that loop up, and then complete my double crochet. And see how that makes a long double crochet or also called a spike stitch. And this is our repeat for row seven. One double crochet in the next three stitches. And then that long or spike stitch in the next. And we'll repeat this working all the way around this row. I completed row seven, stitching one double crochet in the next three and then a spike or long double crochet in the next. And you're going to need to have 10 of our spike stitches and 30 of our regular double crochets. All right, so I joined to my chain three and I'm going to chain three. And now for row eight, we're just going to stitch one double crochet in each of the double crochets around. No spike stitches or long double crochets on this row. Just one 
double crochet in each of the stitches working all the way around and then again we'll join back to our chain three. I completed row eight stitching one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. I joined to my chain three and now we're going to switch back to our blue yarn and chain three. And we're going to repeat what we did on row seven with the green, only we're going to do it in the blue. So our chain three counts as our first, and then we'll double crochet in the next two stitches, one and two. And now we're going to stitch that long double crochet like we did on row seven. One double crochet in the next three stitches, one, two, three, and then one long double crochet. And your long double crochet stitches should line up with the ones we did down here. All right. And so we'll repeat this, working one double crochet in the next three, and one long or spike stitch in the next, and repeat all the way around and join back to our chain three. So I've completed this row, stitching row nine the same way we did row seven only in the blue. And now for row 10, we joined, we're going to chain three, and we're just going to stitch one double crochet in each of the double crochets around. So basically, we repeated what we did for the green rows, we just did them in blue. one double crochet in each of the stitches all the way around. And again, we'll join back to our chain three. I completed row 10, just stitching one double crochet in each of the double crochets around. And what we're going to do now is we're going to repeat row seven, row eight, row nine, and row 10 one more time. So we'll do another row of green spikes, another row of double crochets, then another row of blue with the blue spikes, and then another row of blue double crochets. So we're repeating row seven, row eight, row nine, and row 10 one more time. I repeated row seven, row eight, row nine, and row 10 one more time. So I have two more rows of the green and two more rows of the blue. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cut our yarn and I've already cut the green yarn and we'll have to come back in and weave those in, but we're going to bring back in our white yarn. All right, now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going to stitch one double crochet in each of the double crochets around. One double crochet in each of the double crochets around, and then we'll join back to our chain three. I stitched one double crochet in each double crochet around using my white yarn. And what we're going to do this is row 15, and we're going to repeat row 15 for two more rows, which is just two more rows of double crochet using our white yarn. So chain three, one double crochet in each double crochet around, join to your chain three, and repeat. One double crochet in each of the double crochets around. And that will give us three rows of double crochets in the white. I completed the three rows of white 
one double crochet in each double crochet around. I join to my chain three and I'm going to tie off. I'm going to pull that loop to the inside of my bag. And of course, I've already cut that yarn. And I'll need to take a few minutes and weave in my ends. But this is how the bag should look at this point. To make the drawstring, we're going to use one strand of each color of the yarn. We're going to make our slip knot and we're going to chain 80 chains. And if it's a little bit cumbersome with the smaller hook, you can always go up a couple hook sizes. But I wanted to use the eye because I want this to be a nice, tight chain. All right, so we're just going to chain 80 chains. I have chained my 80 chains using all three strands of my yarn. I'm going to cut my yarn and tie that off. And now I'm going to make a nice tight knot in the end of both sides of my chain. I'll just flip it through like that, pull it really tight, and clip that. And I'll do the same thing on this side. We don't want our chain to come undone when we're carrying our bag. Nice and snug and clip that. All right, now we're going to put our drawstring in our bag. And I want my drawstring pulls to be on the side because I'm going to add those two pom-poms, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hook in through the center of these three and I'm going to go in every other and I'm going to go with my hook backwards. I'm going to go in every two stitches like this. All right, I'm going to turn this so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to grab that drawstring and pull that through. And with it being a little bit thick, it might be a little bit hard, but just ease it through like this. All right, and then I'll do the same thing again. Two, every two, every other two stitches. and gently pull that through. Just easing it through. Make sure we don't do any pulls. All right, so we got a couple more here. Let's see. All right, so now it's over to the side. And if we give it a nice pull on that, it kind of rounds out and gives the abstract appearance of our earth with our north and south poles in white and then earth and water in the middle. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to tie our two ties together about this far up. And we want to leave about four inches here, nice snug. And then when we pull this this way, our pom-poms will hang off here. Cut one piece of your green yarn about 10 or 12 inches long. And we're going to begin with our white. And I'm going to wrap it around my four fingers about 15 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. I'm going to slide it onto this hand and clip it. Now I'm going to slide it back onto my hand because I had to take it off because I'm right handed. If you have a pom pom maker, you can use that as well. Now we're going to take the blue and green together and we're going to 
wind that around 20 times. One, two, so I have my 15 wraps of white and then I have my 20 wraps of my blue and green. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. All right, we're going to take this and hold it flat and lay it against this string. And now we're going to tie this as tight as we can. And as much to the center as possible. Again, if you have a pom-pom maker, you can use that as well. I have one. I still prefer to do it on my hand. I don't know why. I just like doing it this way. All right, so I'm going to make sure I have three knots and that knot is secure. All right, I'm going to get my little bucket here that I like to use when I'm trimming. All right, so here's my pom-pom. And I'm just going to start cutting those loops. Make sure we get all those white ones. All right, I'm going to pull that a little, see if we can make sure everything's nice and even. And now we're just going to push all of that up like this. And I can see some loops here I didn't cut, but that's okay. And we're just going to go around and trim that off. Anything we see that's too tall, isn't laying pretty, we're just going to trim it. All right, now I'm going to give it a little bit of a shake. And see, I can see here where I missed some loops. Okay. And then I'll do that again. I'll pull it up and trim it. And you're just going to trim it until you're happy with the way it looks. I also take it and kind of push it flat like this. And then I can get all those little extra ones that are too long. Just don't cut your main stem or your main stem. Don't cut your main string that you're going to attach it to the end of your string. All right, we'll get another little shake. There we go. And there is my pom-pom. I've got lots of green and blue and little patches of white for my north and south pole. So I've already attached one of the pom-poms, and here's the one that we just made. And what we're going to do, I'm going to turn this this way, is we're going to attach it to the end here. And so we'll take our hook, and we'll go in that chain and grab one of those strings. And we'll tie it on nice and tightly. All right, now I'm going to go through the other side and pull that string through. That way I have like a double knot. It's not gonna go anywhere, it's gonna stay put. And I'm gonna tie three knots. One, two, and three. We'll trim those. Now we'll take our pom-pom and see these extra strings that are sticking out here? We'll trim those off. And now we have a fun earth bag with two fluffy pom-poms. Aren't those adorable? Mm -hmm.